Are we recording? Hey guys, it's Serpent the Charmer here for week 29 of the weekly writing challenge. Last week in week 28, I challenged you to write a story about what you would do if you only had 24 hours until a necessary surgery wiped your memory. And I have to say, I'm really blown away by your entries. You guys really came out and killed it on this one. But I'm not surprised. You writers have been killing it all month. You kill it all the time anyway. So without further ado, let's go through some of my favorite pieces from last week. First up is the heart-wrenching piece, The Chalkboard, by Nemedvik. I recalled standing at the chalkboard in first grade while erasing the lessons from the entire day. Once finished, the handiwork of my teacher was gone and the board was blank. With one brief warning, that was to become my life. Everything would be erased, never to return. Wonderful job, Nemedvik, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I do not know. Up next on the podium is a very weighty story by Happy Land called Grains. It's hopeless. I'm fucked. And there's no two ways about it. What's the point in going through any of this if I'm going to come out different? I feel like I'm about to die. I won't be the same. I'll look in the mirror at a face I once knew and think that I'm wearing a mask. That I'm an intruder. What will I say to myself tomorrow when I no longer understand the world? What will my first new thought be? I hope it's a more optimistic one. So great stuff, Happy Land. Uh, last but certainly not least is a very clever piece by Mottles called Violating Secrets. I spent the last 24 hours before they wiped my mind violating the social contract repeatedly, being handsomely compensated. I have long ago figured out that secrets and trust are a currency all on their own. You can trade one for the other. I've made a career studying how we apply value secrets. Now I'm making a fortune out of it. All right, I just want to thank you guys so much for contributing and sharing your great stories with me and the rest of Hit Record for this month. I had so much fun reading your stuff and coming up with prompts that I kind of don't want to stop. It saddens me to hand off this wonderful collaboration, but also enlightens me to inform you of who you're being handed off to. I now leave you in the very capable hands of the talented and lovely 224 Square. The floor is yours. Hey guys, my name is Amber. I go by 224 Square on the site, and I am your guest curator for week 29 of the Weekly Writing Challenge. I'm super excited to be a part of this this month, and thanks so much to the Hit Record community for reaching out to me and asking me to be a part of this project. So my first prompt for you guys for the Weekly Writing Challenge is write a 10-minute stream of consciousness piece from the perspective of a character who has just woken up in a box and that's pretty much it. I would really encourage you guys to take some time to really establish the character that you're going to write about. Is the character a person? Is the character an animal? Is the character inanimate? What kind of personality they have? How do they react to stress? How do they react to anxiety? What are their triggers? Are they even stressed out in this particular situation? I really want you guys to embrace this stream of consciousness method of writing. It can feel really weird to just leave words on the page and not go back, but that's what's so wonderful about this room of consciousness is that it's very unfiltered, it's raw, it's reactive, and there is a sincerity there that you don't otherwise get with prepared writing, so I really want you guys to embrace that. <laughs> Have a lot of fun, push the boundaries, step out of the box, if you will. Have your contributions in by next Monday, May 4th, and I cannot wait to read them. I would wish you guys luck, but you guys don't need it because you guys are incredible. I'll see you guys here next week. Thanks so much. Bye!